You're going to need a lot more than just a simple setup checklist if you're going to make agencies or people buying your snapshots successful. So here's the four types of trainings that every single snapshot is gonna to need to make people who get it set up for success. The first thing that you're gonna need is obviously the snapshot setup. This is the list of things that a new agency or business is going to have to do to make sure that the snapshot has been customized to them, that it's set up for their niche, and that any kind of tweaks that have to happen for their particular line of business have been done before they start onboarding clients onto the snapshot. Once you have your snapshot all set up and ready to go, the second set of trainings that you're gonna need is the onboarding checklist. This is the list of tasks and trainings that it'll take for every new sub account that gets brought on to make that go live. The big difference between an onboarding checklist and a setup checklist is that this is going to be a lot more granular and geared up for a account manager or even the end user client who's going to be new to high level and they need everything spelled out for them specifically. So make sure along with text and images and all the steps that go into your trainings that you also have videos of every single small step. Those little tiny videos, even if they're just 30 second quick tasks, it makes a big difference for how successful people are in setting them up. Even better is if you can white label all of that. One of the biggest fears of any agency or even a business that's launching GHL for the first time is, did I screw anything up? Is there gonna be any impacts of what I've done or did I miss anything? So the third type of training that you should include with your snapshot is a list of tests that you can perform or should perform before you go live with an account. Because if you do all those tests, it's going to reassure you that you did everything. And it'll also catch if there is any errors early on before you start putting real contacts through a system that may have a financial impact on the people who are using your snapshot. So now that you have your snapshot all set up, you have your onboarding steps for the sub accounts, and you have tests to make sure everything's perfect before going live. A final step in the training for a snapshot that's often missed is the implementation training. How do you actually use your snapshot on a day-to-day -day basis? How do you run the forms? How do you work the workflows, manage the tasks? How do you submit the trigger links or whatever specialty actions that are needed to run your snapshot? Providing these documents for an agency to train their own staff will save you a lot of headaches as well because they won't have to keep coming to you asking for questions. And if you can make that training white labelable, white labelable, then keep it better because now your agencies are going to be super successful. They can't really screw any of that part up. And you know that the snapshot that you've given to people is going to be used correctly. So having all four of these types of trainings for your snapshot is really going to set up your agencies for success. Huh? Snap see what I did there? It's a stupid joke. Whatever. Jokes aside, it's really important to get all of these steps into your snapshot training because if you do you're not just going to sell people on snapshots you're actually going to make sure that's successful and that's going to be how you're going to get repeat business and all of those tasty referrals if you really want to make your snapshot training extra powerful it's if in every single step of your setup and onboarding checklists you can have a reference to the actual assets that are in your snapshot. So I use the Snapshot Manager Pro, which is a tool for not just documenting my entire snapshot and what everything does, but I can also attach all of the setup and onboarding and test trainings that are attached to it. So when I embed that into say like my snapshots, onboarding trainings or my membership courses, I can embed a live version of the latest trainings for the snapshot steps. So it's a really powerful way for managing your training and keeping everything up to date and all in one central location. So if you're looking to level up your snapshot training and documentation, you can grab the Snapshot Manager Pro just in the link below. And I'll see you guys next time and hope you got a lot of value from this.